Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to connect the PS4 to laptop. This video right here. So, for a PlayStation 4, you know, back in 2016 when this video was made, the PS4 website used to look like this, where it was easy, you just click Windows PC or Mac, and it takes you down to a link, and you download the application from there. But from now, since the PS5 has been recently released, they decided that they wanted to change the website. So when you click the link... It looks completely different so these are both the same links so they look completely different as the one from 2016 and they kept that one for four years and now they decided that they wanted to change it so now it looks a little bit different when you're trying to navigate to download the remote play the link will be in the description if you guys need it it's exactly the same as the one in this video and it'll be in the description of this one so essentially it talks about controlling your ps5 and your ps4 so both the applications are the same it's the same application for both consoles but you're able to do it with both but I believe the PS5 now supports higher resolution because of its hardware capabilities but the PS4 console is the one that's exactly the same as before so if you're gonna be using a PS4 you're gonna use uh, control your PS4 you're gonna click the link here Control your PS4 from a Windows PC or Mac, mobile device, PS5 console, whichever you are going to be accessing the remote play on. Same goes for the PS5. Control your PS5 console from a Windows PC. I'm just going to click this one. I don't have a PS5 yet, but I'm just going to show you guys. Um, it's the same thing for both pages. I'm going to go back. Same for PS4. The requirements are exactly the same. You need to have a Windows 10 computer. So it used to be Windows 8.1, but now it's Windows 10. So it has to be 32-bit or 64. Make sure that it's a processor that is seventh generation Intel or higher. Um, storage space, 100 megabytes or more, two gigabytes of RAM. Display resolution needs to be higher than this, this or higher, and etc. So, yeah. So you make sure you need to have a high internet speed connection. So a lot of people they had problems where they are unable to launch the app because they don't have a high or fast enough internet connection. So I recommend. If you're able to run an Ethernet cable directly from your router to your PS4 or PS5 to get the best possible internet connection that you can get. So you also need a USB cable um, for your controller from your controller to your PC. And if you want to use voice chat, which is it does work, there is voice chat, you need to make sure that your computer has a built-in microphone as stated right here. So yeah, it's pretty simple to download. So when you guys are on the website, just scroll down, go to install the app. There's like a little heading right here. So just click I agree to the off platform software product license agreement and download. So instantly when you click that, it'll download. So click save. And as you can see right here in the bottom left, it downloaded. So what I find is a lot of people, they had problems with their browser where it wasn't downloading for some reason. If it doesn't work, I would probably recommend trying to download in another browser that way sometimes it helps click next and I'm just gonna install so yeah it is gonna take time but once it's finished let's launch it so here we have the application launch it's pretty simple now so it's a little more updated it just says play your favorite games on PS5 and PS4 remotely using, using this device so we're gonna sign into PlayStation so give me a minute and I'll be right back. So this is completely different from the original PS Remote Play. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to select which console. So I currently do not have the PS5. I'm looking into buying it. But I have my PS4 still. So what you're going to do is you're going to either search via internet. So if your PlayStation is already connected to the internet it's going to try to search for it. So you won't need a monitor if it is able or like a TV connected to your PlayStation if your PS4 is, you know, able to be found. But as you can see, mine is not finding the PS4. My PS4 is powered on right now, connected to internet, and it is not finding it. So you're going to have to connect manually, unfortunately, and this will re require a TV in order a TV or a monitor connected to your PlayStation 
in order to get the code. So it says right here on your PlayStation, go to settings, remote play connection settings, and register device, and it'll give you a code where you're gonna wanna put this in. So I'm gonna quickly grab that, so give me a moment. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, I'm on my PlayStation 4. So currently not the PS5, but the method is exactly the same. So what you're gonna wanna do, is you're gonna go to settings, and you're gonna go down until you find the settings, which is called remote play connection settings. So click that, make sure that remote play is enabled, otherwise they won't be able to find it. Then click add device. So this code right here, that's the code you're gonna need to put into the remote play application. So in that remaining time, cause after that time, it just sends out a new code. So make sure you put in the code into the remote play app in that remaining time. And then you're just gonna wanna take it and put it into this box. So as you guys can see, we put in the code, we're gonna click link. So now it is linking our PlayStation 4. Now this is an important part to remember. You are going to need your charging cable for the PlayStation controller and you're gonna to wanna to plug it into your computer or laptop. All right guys, so as you can see, my controller is plugged into my computer. So the wire is kind of short, I need another wire, but let that not distract you. So, as you can see right here, we can control our console using the remote play. So if I wanted to, I could now launch games and play it off of my computer or even a laptop. So if I wanted to, as long as you have your controller plugged in using a cable, you're able to play the game while being away. So if, I use, if you're using a laptop, I know I'm using a desktop right now, but if you're using a laptop and you're far away in someone's house, you can use the, uh, make sure your PS4 is already connected one time before. So then next time if you go to someone else's house and you connect via Wi-Fi, um, it should be able to find your console. So one thing a lot of people ask is how do I use my microphone? Now it's quite simple. So what you're going to want to do is when you move your mouse, right, um, at the bottom right corner, there is a unmute button. So click that. So basically when you're in chat, so it says microphone switch to the microphone on the remote play device. So what I find though is that, um, so I'm actually going to reopen the application real quick. So I find that the quality is um, quite fuzzy. It's not 1080p, so it's not looking quite nice. So what you can do is go to settings, and if you go to video quality, so my right now the re resolution was set to um, 540p, which is really bad, but the PS5 can set up to 1080p, so does the PS4. You can set it to, um, 1080p. So actually, no, nah, forget that. So the PS4 Pro and PS5 can do 1080p, but the PS4 usually is like maxed out at 720p. And you can set the frame rate to high. And there you go. So now click OK and launch. So we're connecting again. And here you guys go. So it is connected again. So now we're going to do some gameplay. Enable it and connect to be a code method. So yeah, the quality isn't. You are now entering a safe fast, area, but it is decent enough to where you can play the game. And it is kind of responsive. There's a teeny bit of a delay from what I see, but it's not bad. I wouldn't recommend this for first-person shooters, but for casual games like The Division 2, where you're fighting against like bots and stuff, or like you know story mode kind of games. This does the job perfectly. So yeah. Without further ado guys, thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, gonna be here for yeah, I really want to thank you guys for all the support on the PS4 video. That was just amazing. 2 million viewers and over like 20,000 likes. And I've been trying my best to respond to comments as much as I can. 
so excuse me if I don't if I do Mr. Comic because there are tons of them I gotta respond to every day so thank you guys so lastly don't forget to slap the like button down below if I helped you guys out and also to subscribe to support the channel and hopefully I'll be able to make more content to help you guys out peace out guys have a great day